just for your reference, not for my, not for your reference. This is for my record, but yeah, this this big picture, yeah, this is actual picture was taken at the in the Huntington Beach, California, Southern California. This is me. Um, I was I started to surf when I moved to Long Beach from San Jose and the Anza College. I, I transferred from College of the Siskis in Whitty, California, spent one year and then transferred to the Anza College in San Jose, spent two years and studied uh, like animations, 3D animations, uh, all kind of art to get into Disney Pixar, but I somehow gave up the dream. Anyway, uh, then from the fourth year of my United States life, I transferred to Long Beach, California to ooh, finish my university education and I uh, majored in communication studies. That's how I met my wife. She, yeah, she was uh, in ma same major, communication studies. So uh, actually I'm not good at communicating with people. That's why I took communications, but she's good at communicating with people. You know, she's natural communicator. And that's how I met her. So uh, I believe the the reason why I took communication studies as my major was to meet her. Yeah, because we met in the very last semester of the my university life. We were in the same class, but she was the only Japanese in three hundred students. Other more like ninety five percent was Americans or whites. Because people say, especially like business people, business major people say, what's your major? I said, uh, communication studies. He's there. Like, huh? What do you do with communications? What can you do with that? Why don't you major in business or accounting or, you know, in engineering? Why? What? I don't understand. Why do you uh, major in communications? That's nothing. And I said, well, that's uh, something which you cannot see, but I'm studying history, uh, psychology, debate, speech, mindset, philosophy, all kinds of, you know, liberal arts in my communication majors. So I'm not looking at the short term. I'm more trying to explore myself as a human being and they didn't understand. Uh, I'm not talking about them, but uh, anyways. Yeah, this photo was taken by uh, not professional, but semi-professional uh, photographer. This gentleman, around 50, five years old, he uh, was famous for taking photos in the Huntington Beach. He always take a photos of only the oceans or waves, but he sometimes, only sometimes take or shoot a person. And this day, I still remember this was, I believe this was like the end of September 2005, just right after I moved from San Jose to Long Beach. And, you know, I just started to surf by myself and not knowing how to surf, so this day I was again just beaten up by wa waves and just tired and looking at the skylines and I don't know what I was thinking about <laughs> I was 21 anyways he was uh, behind me, I didn't know about it but he anyway took this photo because later when I found this photo uh, at the store he said I, I I look at this picture, you know, just happened to, uh, he was having, selling his photos at the free, free, free market, no, like, like temporary market, uh, close to the Huntington Beach, he was having his own, uh, store, and I was looking at all these photos, are nice, 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 and I just found this photo with human, oh, a human being, mm -hmm. okay. This guy looks kind of like a, oh, he has a big head compared to typical Americans. He looks kind of, 
his head is big. It looks like, uh, I don't know, Asian. Then I suddenly realized, wait a minute, is this me? And I just took a look so carefully, and then it's so hard to see, but I could tell from the surfboard, oh, this is my surfboard, and I talked to the lady uh, who is who who is the photographer photographer's wife and she I asked him you know what this must be me where's the photographer she said oh he's not here today but yeah maybe me maybe you I don't know <laughs> I didn't take it and <laughs> I bought this photo I asked her uh, the day the photographer will come and I visit again and talk to him and I asked him, sir, do you remember which day you took this one? He said, probably around the summer of 2005. Oh, yes. Isn't this Huntington Beach? Of course. That's me. Oh, great. You found it. Yeah. So that was one of the amazing story that I happened to meet in the United States. I have so many uh, amazing stories, unbelievable stories like this. Every time I meet these kind of opportunities, I have to believe there's God. Yeah, of course there's God. Uh, because who made this universe? Anyway, this is not my artworks, but this is myself. And this is one of my uh, treasure. By the way, this is a... Uh, uh, Castle Long Beach is a uh, sale for parking lot. So expensive. Just just one semester. It's like $60 or so for just for parking. Oh man. <laughs>